So now today's lecture, I am going to talk about the relativistic motion of a charged particle in constant magnetic field. So for this, consider a charged particle having charge E and rest mass I'm not moving in a uniform magnetic field D. So for this case, the equation of motion can be written as rate of change of momentum is equal to E by dt m naught v over 1 minus v square over c square under the root. This is the momentum and this is equal to E by c v cross p. This is the equation of motion. And M0 can be taken outside. And uh, if I take it outside, then this can be written as D over DT. It is V over 1 minus V square over C square under the root. This can be written as E over M0 C. V cross D. Now, this is a vector quantity and this is a constant for a particular velocity. This is a vector quantity, but this is a constant. And uh, this gamma is equal to 1 minus V square and C square. You can write down it in this manner under the root. If I take it gamma, so then this equation can be rewritten as d by dt gamma m naught b is equal to e by c b cross b and this can be taken outside it so gamma m naught d v over dt is equal to e by c b cross b Therefore, dv over dt can be written as so we can bring this term towards this side gamma m naught sorry into therefore dv over dt so 1 over gamma can be written as 1 minus p square over c square under the root. So that means 1 over gamma m naught is equal to 1 minus p square over c square under the root upon m naught. So keeping this in mind, this equation will become b cross d. 1 minus p square over c square under the root divided by m naught. That's what I am doing here. Now, if I multiply and divide by c, so it will become c square and it is b cross b. Why I am doing this? The purpose is this if I multiply this c by c then it will become c square so this m naught with the c square will become mc square so this is like a, a energy term sitting here so that means dv over dt is 
Sinaz. ECB cross P and this is can be written with this sorry M2 will be there so it is M not C square and I can call this term as E and a relativistic where E is the relativistic energy means what I did I, re I recall my earlier expression for this kinetic energy relative sorry uh, relativistic energy so it is this one so now this expression can be written in this form equal to E C B cross B 1 minus C square over C square under the root upon M not C square or you can E C B cross B over C. I can write down this expression in this form. Now from here, I can write down expression for omega c in the cyclotron frequency E c b over E. If I compare my results with the earlier results for the non-relativistic case, or E C B M not C square 1 minus C square over C square under the root and this will cancel out with it. So it is simply E B over M not C 1 minus C square over C square. So this is the cyclotron frequency and from for this, what motivated me? The motivation for writing this in terms of this is that if I try to look at this expression, then what this tells me that in a relativistic treatment, The only difference from the non relativistic case is the replacement. of rest mass m not by relativistic mass that is m not 1 minus c square by c square so this motivated me to write down omega c in terms of this and this is the expression for omega c for the cyclotron frequency. That means from here, what I am concluding this helped me that for a relativistic motion, the particle will move.
along B with the uniform circular motion motion with cyclotron frequency and that cyclotron frequency is given like this. Now let us compare the relativistic and the non-relativistic case. So here let me write down the non-relativistic case. And here, let me express the relativistic case. So from here, for this case, the omega c can be written as E b over m c. And for this, is equal to this E b over m not c. 1 minus p square over c square under the root. So this is the relativistic and this is a non-relativistic case. So what is happening here? That means here omega c do not depend upon, do not depend upon velocity of the particle. Means it is independent of velocity. but it is not independent of velocity. Because this is the V, it is sitting here and it is proportional to one minus V square by C square. So that means if velocity approaches to velocity of light, then this term will become so that means v square upon c square, it approaches to 1. So this makes this term 0. Or in other words, I can say that omega c will approaches to 0. So that's what will happen. Means frequency will become 0. Or the cyclotron frequency will become 0. Too. So that's what will happen in case of relativistic case. So with this uh, this article is completed now in the next lecture i am going to talk about motion of a charged particle or a relativistic motion of a charged particle in the constant electric field thanks for watching it